What is expected to be a two and a half month project to permanently repair the Leo Frigo Bridge is underway. Zenith Tech, the company contracted to fix the bridge, had officials on the site there for the first time. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz also was on hand and joins us now live. Ben? Michelle, there's been more action than normal here with trucks going in and out of the bridge site. The DOT gave us a behind the scenes tour of the work this afternoon. Permanent repair workers were mostly doing preliminary work on their first day. They're bringing in equipment and solidifying access roads to each pier they will be working on. Meanwhile, the contractor for the temporary stabilization towers is still here and will be into next week. Those towers are to ensure no further movement at Pier 22. That's the pier which settled about two feet more than a month ago, creating a dip in the road and forcing the bridge's closure. The DOT says so far, both companies are working well together. I mean, everybody's on a fast pace here, and so um, they're trying to work around each other, figuring out how they can work together and uh, not get in each other's way. Now, the stabilization work is expected to be complete next week, allowing the permanent repairs to go into full production mode. I'll have more on what that consists of tonight on Fox 11 News at 9. For now, reporting live in Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.